Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romances with epic pining. I love a good pining romance. I love when both or one of the characters is pining after the other. Ugh, I love it. So I think I've made a few of these videos. I'll link them down below if you want even more recommendations. First one that I have is Bringing Down the Stars by Emma Scott. This is actually a duet and I do recommend you reading both of them in order because you can't really read one without the other. So this one is a college set romance at first, at first. This is a love triangle, um, but you kind of already know the whole time who she's gonna end up with. So our heroine in here ends up actually, I think almost getting like run over by this dude playing football, like on the quad or whatever. She thinks he's very cute. He's a sport player of some kind. I can't remember which on the top of my head. Anyway, they head it off. But then later on in the day, she goes to the library to study and she sits next to this guy who she gets along with really well, but he seems kind of broody and he ends up developing feelings for her. And those two men that she met are actually roommates, they're best friends. And the one she met in the library, the second one she met actually is like, I really like her, but my roommate like met her first, is crushing on her, so I'm just gonna step back. But it's about him like hardcore being in love with this woman for years, even though he should not be because that is his best friend's girlfriend. This duet is chock full of pining on like both ends, like interestingly, in an interesting way on her end, which I don't wanna spoil it, um, but yeah chocked full of pining. Next to you by Hannah Bonham Young. Both of these characters, I feel like we're pining after each other. This is the romance between Elaine and Matt and they're actually like best friends. They met in the first book in this series, which is like a companion book where their two respected best friends got together. So they are now like friends they know of each other and now they hang out. Anyway, this book starts out with Elaine actually purchasing a school bus and is wanting to kind of change it up and make it into a mobile home. And Matt and his friend actually run like an auto body car shop and so he has decided to like help her on her project. The more time they spend together, like the more maybe their feelings get admitted. <laughs> These two spend a lot of time together and it's been really hard for them to not like hint in any way that they don't have feelings for one another. So I love this one. It's a great friends to lovers romance. Next is Powerless by Elsie Silver. We have another one where both characters have been pining after each other. This one's about Jasper and Sloan. And Jasper is a hockey player and uh, Sloan is like his best friend. They are best friends with each other. This book starts out with her about to get married to this guy that Jasper knows is like no good. He's like, this dude is crap. <laughs> anyway, he ends up helping her become a runaway bride at the beginning of this book because she actually doesn't want to marry him. And it's about them kind of like doing a road trip throughout the country, going to his different hockey games and stuff like that. And again, forced proximity, spending more time together, feelings are revealed. It's a fun read. Next is Ruined Secrets by Neva Altaj. This one is one of my favorites by Neva. It's book number four in her perfect and perfect mafia romance series. There is a large age gap between these two characters. So our heroine is maybe like eight or nine when um, she fell into the pool at her grandfather's house, his estate, and a man ended up saving her life who was next in line to take over as like leader of the mafia of her, of her part of the mafia. He ends up saving her from drowning and ever since then she has like this huge big crush on him, has been pining after him for years. He ends up getting married to another woman. Um, that woman cheats on him, he gets a divorce. Anyway, before this grandfather, the like ruler of the mafia again, the mafia family, before he dies, he like has one request of the man who's going to take over the mantle and he's like, you gotta marry my granddaughter. Large age gap between the two and this man feels so icky. He's like, yeah, she's of age. I think she's like 19, I wanna say maybe. He's like, even though she's 19, like I feel icky. Like I feel like I'm marrying a child, but this woman has been in love with him all her life. And she's like, oh my gosh. But then he gets in a car accident and gets amnesia. So that's like the start of it. So it's a great mafia read. Ooh, next is The Friendship Study by Ruby Barrett. There's pining on both sides in here. At first, it doesn't really start out like that. Our two characters are set up on a blind date by a mutual friend, and it doesn't really go that well. Both characters aren't really in the position, the mental state to date at the moment, um, and they never expect to see the other person ever again, but they do. At a study they decide to take part of at the local university, they're gonna study these people and how they make adult friendships, because making friendships as an adult is very difficult, okay, I know. One of the main rules when it comes to this study is that you cannot become like romantically involved with one of the other participants because it's a friendship study. Um, but the more time these two characters spend time together and get to know one another on like a deeper level, the more they actually fall for each other and they're slowly 
pining after each other even though they know that they should not be. Another forbidden one is Catching Cradle by Katya Rose. This one is again one where both characters are pining after each other. These two heroines, this is a sapphic read, are both on the same lacrosse team in college. I think one of them is a senior about to graduate and the other one is a sophomore and the older one is the captain also and there's this like very strict rule on the team like you cannot date teammates. They've been hardcore crushing on each other for a while and like the dam finally breaks in this one. Oh, it's very good. It's so good. An obvious one is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton by Julia Quinn. This is the romance between Penelope and Colin. Penelope has been pining after Colin for years. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't love love like the romances where like the hero turns around and is like oh my gosh where have you been all my life kind of thing um even though the heroine has been pining after him for years i kind of like how the show went about it. i feel like the show went about that way better than the book in my opinion so but i still really enjoyed the book it's very enjoyable next is when we first met this is actually like a little novella it takes place in new york city and our heroine gets an apartment in new york and she meets her neighbor who is a very, very, very hot, okay? And she kind of has like a crush on him and she becomes friends with that guy's roommate who was actually crushing on her. And so he keeps his feelings secret because she comes up to him all the time. It's like, oh my gosh, where's so-and-so? Like, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a party and invite him over, what do you think? And he just has to like bite his tongue and not admit his feelings because he doesn't want to make like their friendship complicated anyway but once she meets this guy and actually gets to know him like the guy she's been crushing on she's like man this dude sucks <laughs> and she slowly starts to realize that she loves spending time with his roommate and maybe she has feelings for the roommate who has been hardcore crushing on her for quite a long time so it's a short little novella that i really like I, it gives like great new york vibes another novella is whole lot of grump by cassie min this one is really fun so our heroine has been hired to be this guy's masseuse every week she comes in once a week to give him a massage because he's a very grumpy stressed boss man both of them have been hardcore crushing on each other for like months years <laughs> honestly um but they haven't like crossed that threshold because they don't want to make the other person uncomfortable something happens in here where the hero becomes worried about the heroine i think she doesn't show up for one of the sessions and he like thinks that she's like dead or something and he like becomes like feral so it's a great little novella and the last one that i have is the stone heart bride by katie wilde a short novella that's a fantasy romance so our heroine has been hardcore crushing on this guy who's at court she's a princess by the way at court she believes that he's gonna ask the king her father for her hand in marriage and she overhears the conversation is like standing at the door like trying to listen to what they're saying and he basically says along the lines of like oh i'm never gonna marry her and she's like oh my gosh i'm so blind like i thought this was gonna happen she ends up like going into the forest to clear her head kind of crying maybe a little bit and she gets kidnapped by orcs and um guess who goes to rescue her and so there's a lot more going on here and it is a shorter read but it's a great little fantasy novella um but she has been hardcore crushing on him for a very long time and the hero may or may not feel the exact same way just saying anyways there you have it those are some romances with amazing pining in them let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to but if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me oh the kissing emoji like the kissy face emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.